one of the things that really drew me to archaeology is the idea of getting at how people lived in the past. The idea that there are so many different ways of being human and that we can really look at the very, very different lives that people might have had all throughout the human past. In my work, I study great kivas, which are very large religious or ceremonial spaces that we think were used for public gatherings. And Dr. Howry was really the first person to study these in the Mugion region. From his work in the Forestdale Valley and later in the Point of Pines area, he excavated a number of great kivas and built these histories of great kivas as a form in those areas. So. When I go back to revisit Great Kivas, I'm literally using the data he collected. Howry's work and the work of others at that time period was really focused on building up the basics of what we would call culture history. What was where when? Later generations really started to ask what these great kivas were for. We have these large public spaces, people are obviously gathering in them, and they wanted to place that in a view of societies around the world. How do small farming societies around the world work? How are these an example of that? And people really arrived at the idea that great kivas are integrative, um, that, that public spaces in general in these small farming societies hold people together. In a way, I'd like to think that the work I've done with the field school that's operated jointly by Archaeology Southwest and the University of Arizona School of Anthropology has carried on a tradition of University of Arizona research in, in Muggy and Archaeology that stretches all the way back to Howry's field school at Point and Pines. I'm very aware of the value of the national parks and national monuments in both keeping these places safe for future generations and for future researchers and in allowing us as the public, as students, as interested people to go there now and to get a sense of how people lived in the past, to learn about these special places and about the wider archaeology that's everywhere under our feet in the Southwest. <laughs>